<laughs> okay. Uh, my topic is going to be uh, global warming. Uh, it's a topic that I don't, I didn't know anything about, but uh, it sounds interesting. Uh, many of us, we don't exactly know what it means, and like I said, I didn't know exactly what it meant before. But uh, but it's interesting. I thought it was just global warming, the reason why polar bears are dying. But it's more than that. Uh, the major, well, global warming, to summarize, well, to specify what global warming is, is the increase of the average temperature of the Earth's atmosphere. And the main reason that we are experiencing global warming is due to the effects of human, um, it's a, a human industry and agriculture. To understand better this topic, there's three main questions that we have to ask ourselves. What are the causes? What are the effects? And what can we do to stop global warming? Uh, what are the causes? Let's start with this question. According to nationalgeographic.com, uh, the, the cause that is uh, causing global warming is the effect of green uh, greenhouse gases emitted by humans. And the principal gas that is uh, causing global warming is the carbon dioxide. There are some other gases responsible for for the global warming, but this one is the main one. Some of the ways that we emit this uh, gas is by the combustion, combustion of fuel in cars, factory and electricity production, and electricity production from landfills and agriculture. agriculture. And from this uh, land, uh, landfill and agriculture, we get the methane. From ni the nitrous oxide, we get, we get them from the fertilizer, and also we get some other gases that we use from re for the refrigeration, and the main one is the loss of law of forests. As we can see, we're responsible for we're responsible for global global warming. Some of the effects that we're uh, that we're seeing right now is the the the, the planet is warming from north north pole to south pole and everything in between. Uh, and it's not just causing the melting of glaciers and sea ice. It's also shifting precipitation patterns and this and the destruction of an animal habits. Other effects that could happen later this century, if warming continues, is that hurricanes and other storms are likely to become stronger. The sea levels are expected to rise seven to twenty-five inches by the end of this century, and the species ex and the species extinction, mainly in the poles. The effects are very dangerous, as we can see, are very um, as scary as we can see. So all we have, to, all we can do is take some action. I know the people who can do the biggest impact about this uh, global warming are the big companies and the governments. We can do something also, even though it's a small, it's a small thing. If we put it all together, it's a lot. So all these things that we can do. Well, the main thing that we can do is find better transportation choices, like sharing a ride, or, find, or, or getting cars who doesn't waste too much gas. Uh, the other one is reducing deforestation and planting trees. And the other one is reducing how much energy we use. To conclude, like I said before, the reason of global warming is nothing but us humans. And the effect of global warming is the melting of glaciers, the shifting of precipitation patterns, and the destruction of animal habit. Well, as we can see, the solution, we can only, ch we can only do it as humans. Like I said, we can change our ha uh, the way we, the way we, our transportation is, and try to um, save as most uh, energy possible. Uh, this is all I can say right now. And <laughs> I'm just so nervous today. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs>